show, Miss Julia Grieve, everyone. Come on in. Cute. Oh, okay. I love it. So, Jules, you are coming over here mm -hmm, because you've mm -hmm. got a statement to make. She's got some wisdom to impart. You've rounded up a comprehensive list of all the things you will never buy again. You will never, never buy never. again. It's a very strong word. Yes. Never. So yeah. I like to say, I try not to. No, it's joking. Yeah. But there are certain <laughs> things that I do not buy. And you know what it is, Tracy? I like to do more like a challenge. Yes. Challenging myself, challenging my kids, my friends. Yeah. Are there things that we cannot buy again mm -hmm. that would be looking for maybe the more sustainable swap? Maybe live without it? Yes. Or find something that's not as harmful to the planet? I do like that you attempt and you're always sort of saying to us, just try. Yes, just I'm not sure. try. Uh, She's not like, you know, you're not. No, I'm not judging. My neighbor made fun of me. She said she was scared to put out her garbage. I'm like, oh, please. <laughs> I am not judging anyone. <laughs> right. Do little bits, and every little bit helps. Like, Tracy, yes. your mouthwash. Because we're starting in the bathroom. We are so starting you do right. not buy, buy mouthwash. No, don't worry. I don't have that bad of breath. Don't worry. No, it's you fine. smell good. <laughs> but the main reason is but mouthwash comes in a plastic bottle. Yeah. I don't want to hurt your feelings, but only 9% of what ends up in our blue bin actually gets recycled. It hurts every it time hurts. you say it. So you need Ouch. to find things that don't even have plastic to begin with, yeah. like clove oil. Okay. Clove oil is a natural mouthwash. Put a few drops onto your toothbrush, then your toothpaste, brush away, great alternative. Okay. As well as tongue scraping, have you ever done that? It's very, it's the right thing to do. I know, right? My yeah. husband was totally freaked out by that. Yeah. I'm like, pull it together, buddy. So, <laughs> it, but that is, you know, I'm not a dentist, but there's a lot of bacteria yes. that's on the tongue and that's what creates bad breath. Right. So by doing those two things, you're now not buying plastic. Better than chewing on a stick like our dogs do, right? right? <laughs> so this is more doable than that. This is much better. I would do that yes. too. Okay, the other one is dry shampoo. Okay. Okay, everyone and their grandmother is into dry shampoo right yeah. now, but it comes in a aerosol spray bottle. Not fun. Yeah. So you can DIY your own. This is my homemade uh, dry shampoo. Yeah. Arrowroot flour. Okay. Okay. That's all you need. Then you can tint it slightly. So you can put a little bit of cinnamon in for blondes. Okay. Uh, brunettes can go cocoa. And yeah. then you can do active charcoal if you've got really dark hair. That's and great. And it's in a mason jar with holes on top. Yeah. Then you just, you know, sprinkle it in. Give it a little sprinkle. Yeah. And it totally works as well as a dry shampoo. You can yes. drop essential oil in as well. If you use the cocoa, do you have chocolate hair? Yeah, it does taste really good. Okay, no, okay. okay. <laughs> nice. Yeah, people smell yeah. you. You smell sweet. Exactly. And then the That's other okay. one are body scrubs. Okay, yes. body scrubs, again, my daughter's obsessed with buying body Body scrubs. Yes. They come in plastic containers they and they have ingredients that I don't know how to spell or say. Yep. Problems. That's so true. what we do is we make our own. This one here is old coffee grounds. So okay. coffee, once it's gone through, add it with a bit of uh, brown sugar and coconut oil. Oh, Ooh. so good. Store it in a nice like glass That's jar. Well, it's outside the good. shower. Lather up. Exfoliate. Yeah. Awesome. Very so good. nice. Okay, okay. Scrub, scrub all the stuff off too. Right. Okay, yeah. I got another one here for you. This might be too much for some people. I'm just oh, giving yeah. options, okay? They don't, not everybody has to do all of them, <laughs> okay? But is the reusable cotton swab. Okay, well, show us what you've got as an alternative okay, so, because I don't know how I feel about it. I know, this one may be too much. It's called the Naked Swab. These yeah. are awesome, and they're made out of bamboo, and yeah. they are reusable. So if you're cleaning your ears, using yeah. your makeup, whatever it is, they wash, they store, and they yeah. are reusable. And then because they're made out of bamboo, you can yes. compost them at the end. Well, I'm going to say two things about this. Number one, we're not supposed to use Q-tips in our ears. Number two, we all do. Yeah, right. <laughs> Number three, I don't know if I want to wash those off after every use. I know. She says, just try, do the just things try. you can. Just do the things try. you can. So like maybe, maybe it's one. not the cute text for you. Maybe it's going to have to be something else. But yes. trying, trying those, I'm here to show you some options. Yeah. The other one are lashes. Like, you know, yes. single-use strip lashes. Those babies get ripped off, tossed in the garbage. Yes. I use a reusable lash. Oh, It's lovely. a magnetic yes. liner, then a magnetic lash. Tracy, yeah. I am not lying. I've had this pair for two years. Amazing. Two years. Well, I'll the tell you lash. something. Even the disposable lashes, I wear them more than once. Yes. I wear them more than, more than thrice. I wear them again and again and again. Okay, see, that's Until awesome. I can't wear them no more. That is awesome. Yeah, who's that buying is a new, really who's good. buying new lashes every, like, every single but day? But people do. Lashes? No, they do. No, no, you don't need to buy that. You can buy reusable ones. So now let's move to the kitchen. Okay, so many things in the kitchen. One of the things that I do not buy is paper towel. Yeah. My husband does. Okay. So <laughs> when my husband goes to the grocery store, the kids are like, it's okay. like Christmas. What's that? 
paper towel. <laughs> so I don't use it, and I like to show the kids the other options. One yeah. is this awesome, which is called unpapered paper towel. Yeah. So it is a roll of basically um, cloth paper, yes. the cloth sheets. Yeah. They come off. They can go on your paper towel holder, and then you use them, wash them, and then roll them back up again. Okay. So awesome. All right. So Dish, single use, the, right? Yeah, multiple use. You use them over and over and over right. again. Right. Yes. But you can only use it once and then yeah. wash it yeah. like you it's, would throw the paper away. Exactly. Yeah. It's not being thrown out. It's going to go into the wash. Reset them. Great. Other okay. one are the dish cloths, Ted and Co yes. dish cloths. I love these. You can use these in the kitchen, anything like that. Yeah. And then they end up going into your green bin when you're done with them. Beautiful. Six months, though. Six months. That's amazing. Awesome, right? Right? Yes. Yes. You also have a few things to think about when it comes to covering the food. Yes, plastic cling wrap hurts my feelings. Yes. It just hurts me when I see it all in that roll. Like, no, I don't need it. Yeah. So what we use instead are beeswax food wraps. They go around any of the food here like this. And then my latest one are fabric covers, Trace. Look at this. I love that. So great. So all you're going to have to do is just put it over your bowls, pop it into the fridge. You don't need that plastic over it. Good for the fruit flies as well. You betcha. These okay, are these beautiful. are This was my discovery this summer. Okay. These are, I don't buy paper plates. I don't buy plastic plates. Yeah. These are made out of palm palm leaves cool. they're durable you can feel it you can use these maybe two three five times I was laughing depending on what you're serving sometimes lasagna <laughs> gets a bit stuck in there yeah but you can rinse them use them again and again and when you're done they go into your green bin and they but they've got good. more you know durability than a tape typical paper plate. yes absolutely right. Also in the kitchen, you do great with your uh, with your your broths and stock. I do. Stalls, I do not do. buy store bought chicken stock, veggie stock, or a beef stock because I make my own every single week. When your mm -hmm. fridge is, you know, at the end of the week, all your vegetables that are going off, yeah. even lettuce, like anything, throw it into a bag, pop it in the freezer on Mondays. I dump it into my crock pot, sorry, sauce pot, add water, and that's your stock. That is so good. Like you never have to buy another stock again. Moving from kitchen to home, you've got yeah. a couple of running shoes here. What are we doing? <laughs> okay, this one may be too much. My husband's like, really going to do that one? I'm like, I'm doing it. <laughs> so this is my favorite. Is I have three very sweaty teenagers that play all kinds of sports, and their shoes are awful. They smell so bad. I feel you. So instead of shoe odorizers, I've yeah. made my own. So this is super cute. Look at that. So they're made out of, you take an old stocking, put in uh, baking soda, any essential oil, and you yeah. pop them in the shoes. I'm telling you, a game changer. Okay, okay well. Smell, yeah. Oh, it smells really right? good. Right? I need one really, for the really... hockey bag. Like, I need it to be, like, this big. Okay, see, that's perfect. Yeah. Use the whole stocking. Right? Like, fill it all up with baking. Yeah. No, I'm not joking you. I'm not joking you. She would do it. I Jules, would totally do that. thank you so much. <laughs>